Yum, yum. Greg here from Pixel Fondue. Octane 2018 and the Moto plugin now allow us to save out a crypto mat of your scene. Now, if you don't know what a crypto mat is, it's a technology created by a company called Psyop. They're a visual effects company that does a lot of commercials and things like that. They created crypto mat in-house and were kind enough to release it out to the world. And it's been picked up by a lot of renderers like Octane and V-Ray. And what it does is it basically easily writes out a bunch of different ID maps for different items in the scene, different objects, also different materials. And then you can use that in post-production to tweak your image. Now, uh, the best way to show you what it does is to show you what it does. So in Octane, all you have to do is click on the little layers button here and it has its own crypto mat tab. Now this is where you'll see beauty passes and info passes like ambient occlusion, things like that. Um, what you know, white passes and the crypto mat tab has a number of different uh, checkboxes here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check the crypto object name and the crypto material node, and that'll save out a separate mat for each material in this scene, material mask, as well as each object or mesh item in this scene. And it just does it automatically. So I'm going to uh, this is already rendered out, and I'm going to just hit save the image now. When using crypto mats, you need to save in a multi layer EXR 32 bit format. So, 32 bits, I believe, is needed over 16 bits because there's a ton of information being saved. And I believe it does use all 32 bits. Um, and it has to be multi layer because it saves the RGB info as well as all the crypto mat info. Now, you can also save out uh, ambient occlusion passes or depth passes or, or whatever you want in addition to the crypto mat passes in the same image file. In this case, I just have this, you know, the beauty of this color pass, RGB uh, pass here and the alpha as well as the crypto mat. And so I'm gonna save that. And here I am in Nuke with my image loaded. Now I believe there is a crypto mat plugin for Nuke, uh, Blackmagic Fusion, and I think After Effects now, I have not double checked that lately, but if there is, it'd be great to get a tutorial on that going because once you use crypto mat, you kind of wonder how you lived without it. So I've got my image here and it has crypto mat embedded in it. And I just need a crypto mat node to start pulling those out. And here you'll see this node is set to crypto material node. And for instance, like this milk jug here had three different materials on it. It had the glass lid, it had the main body, and it had the handle. And it has a mat just automatically created for all three of those. I can also look at my crypto object node. And here I've got my four objects in the scene, each with its own mat. And I can use any of these um, to create a mask to affect uh, a grade node or a blur node or whatever. So if I add a grade node, and I'm going to just pull my crypto off to the side here. And actually, let me just take a look at crypto again. Let's say I want to grade um, just this format here, actually. Actually, you know what? Let me grade um, the entire uh, copper color of this milk jug. So it's two different mats. It's, I don't want the glass, so I don't want to use my um, object crypto. I want to use my material crypto. And I want to get the handle and the main body of it here. So to do that, I could just click pick or add and press control and click and click. And there's my mask. It's, it's really that easy. And if I look back at my grade node here, I can then feed this crypto mask into uh, the mask of the grade node. And then on my grade node, let's say I want to up the gain of that copper, just like that. There I go. Pretty easy. I can even uh, add like a hue shift or something like that. And again, let's get that mask from that crypto and shift the hue. So rotate the hue and I'm getting both the handle and the main body. So pretty amazing, and you can have as many crypto uh, mats in the scene as you want. So again, I'm, I can say, let's do like a blur node. Blur, let's say I just want to blur um, the table. And so with, with crypto, I'm going to select, I'm just gonna uh, pick or add, select the table. I can do it in material or object mode. I can just do it in object. Control click, got the table. And let's uh, get my viewer back over here to the stream. All right, so I've got a mask going into my blur node. I'm gonna use that second crypto to create the mask. In my blur node, I'm going to up the blur. And you'll see I've just blurred out the table. It's really just pretty amazing. And it just does it all automatically. You get all these masks. Uh, I kind of feel like saying for free because it doesn't seem like it really 
uh, takes the render to go much longer and it's uh, much uh, it's all in one file it's just really a pretty amazing technology and uh, really happy to see it in octane 2018 yum yum